In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a contact page and a contact form. So just something that your users can fill out and it will email to you. So the way to do that is we go to our dashboard. And now let's make our new contact page. So let's create a new page. We'll go to pages and click add new. And this is going to be our contact page. So we're just going to type in contact for the title and we're not going to put anything in here. So then we're just going to click publish. All right, so that created a new page. Now, by default, WordPress doesn't have a contact form, so we need to go ahead and get one. And the way we do that, the way we extend WordPress is through plugins. So just click plugins. Then click add new. Cuz we're adding a new plugin. After you do that, uh, just type in contact form 7. That's what our contact form is called. Then click search plugins. All right, once that page has loaded, we see the contact form 7 right here. We can go to details and we can see that it got good ratings and also uh, we can see the installation instructions. But really all we need to do is install now. So just click install now. Then click Activate Plugin. All right, now our contact form is activated, and we can see it right here. So go ahead and click on it. And once we see this, we can click on it again. All right, so this is our contact form. I'm going to show you how to uh, edit these fields in just a second but what I want you to do right now is scroll down and make sure the mail to says your email address okay so just make sure your email address is right here all right once we do that we're actually gonna copy this code right here so we're gonna take this code and we're gonna highlight it we can right click and copy it and then we go back to our pages and we go to our contact and we click on it and we paste it in so right click and paste so that code is uh, called a short code and it replaces uh, the contact form with it so let's see what that does we can press update and let's view the page so we can see here that we have our contact form now if we fill it out put our name and let's put our email address and our subject and the message. So we just put, hey, Tyler. Then we will uh, send it. Press send. And it'll tell us that your message was sent successfully. Thanks. So now we're going to check our email. But just know that sometimes, every once in a while, uh, the message may go into your spam folder. So just know that that may happen and I'll show you what to do so we go to our email address and let's uh, click on the spam folder because it may be there and it is so just know that uh, for the first time you may need to get it out of the spam folder so we need to say not spam So here it is, and here's our subject, hello, and our message, uh, hey Tyler. So what do we do if we want to put an extra field in here? For example, we want an upload button here. All right, that's pretty easy. What we do is we go to our contact page, and we click on it. And this is what's going to allow us here uh, to upload new fields. So first, let me explain to you uh, how it all works. So here's your form. And we have uh, name. We have uh, the box for the name. We have email. We have the box for the email. We have the subject and the box for the subject. So that's name, the 
box with a name, email, the box with email, subject, the box with a subject, your message, and that's the same thing as your message, and the text uh, area for the message. So the text area for the message. So we can change this. We can put your name in front of it, your name, your email, your subject, and we can click save. And when we refresh, it's going to say your name, your email, your subject. Okay. Um, and also, the next thing to know is uh, the message uh, that it sends you. So it says from your email. So here it says from the email. And then it says subject, hello. So subject and it says hello so this is how it emails you okay um, in order to change that or or to add an upload field what we do is we generate tag and uh, we click file upload and this is the hardest most confusing uh, one to do so uh, if the field is required we could check this off but it's not so here it says copy this code and paste it into the form left. So we're just going to copy it right here. And we're going to paste it here. All right. Now it also says uh, put this into the file attachment field below. So know that it says into the file attachment field below. It doesn't have to be in this message body but it does have to be in this file attachment field below. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this, copy, and we're going to paste it here. Now most of the time you'd paste it in here, but for, as for a file attachment, since it's different, since it, it's a, it's a attached file, we're going to paste it right here. So let's see what this does. We're also going to paste it here. All right. So let's see what all this does. We're going to save it. And we see the file right here, upload. So we're going to refresh this. And we see that we have a file upload. But what if we wanted to say something like upload your file? What we could do is we can copy this code right here. Press copy and paste it. Paste it. And instead of it saying your message, it, we can put upload file and save it. So now we refresh this and it says upload file. So that's much better. What we can do here is put uh, the file that was uploaded is, and then the file name will be there. All right, so let's save it and see how all this works. Save it. So let's enter in our information. Let's refresh this. Enter in our information. And then let's upload a file. So we'll choose the file. And I'll just upload myself. And then I'll send it. All right, now that the file was uploaded and the email was sent, I could check my email and again it may be in the spam folder so make sure you check the spam folder and there it is so we want to make sure to mark it not spam so here's our folder here's our uh, email that we sent and so it says hi subject hi Tyler body message hey Tyler uh, the file that was uploaded is and it tells us the name of the file and then it attaches the file so that's pretty cool. You can also do other things like
put in text fields, email fields, drop down menus, check boxes, radio buttons, uh, quizzes, and a whole bunch of other things. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe, and go to knutan.org, C-O-N-U-T-A-N-T.org for more free lessons. Thanks a lot.